My name is Tunde Aino. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of uh, NTA Star TV Network. NTA Star TV Network is uh, Star Times in Nigeria. So Star Times in Nigeria, we call it NTA Star TV Network. It's a joint venture between um, the Nigerian Television Authority and uh, Star of China. The joint venture was formed, I think, in 2009 and started business in 2010. Yeah, the joint venture, it's um, a pay TV company. So the Star of China is a pay TV company. NTA is a national broadcaster of Nigeria. NTA has extensive infrastructure across the country. So NTA and Star Times came together to set up a network um, to provide pay TV services at affordable costs on both the terrestrial and satellite networks. It's been very challenging. Uh, Star Times came in as a game changer because um, Pay TV before now, or before Star Times came in, was an elitist thing. Um, it was relatively expensive, not many people could afford it. So uh, we came in with the with that slogan, affordability. You know, this is digital TV, better pictures, better sound, at an affordable cost. We have, we have about five sports channels. Uh, we have some um, content, some uh, some live sports. We have uh, Bundesliga. And then we also have uh, one EPL match per week on either NTA or Sporty TV. Um, then we have another channel, another sports channel that dedicated to combat sports. Uh, combat sports like mixed martial arts, like boxing, you know. So that's for sports. Then for women, women like novellas. We have lots of novella channels. We have a novella, we have uh, the Indian novella channels. We also have uh, Nigerian um, Nollywood uh, channels. And then for kids, we have uh, lots of kids channels, probably up to six or seven, um, uh, like Tsunami, you know, like um, CBBs, like Jim Jam, Baby TV, and the rest. So we try to satisfy the different um, uh, uh, you know, types of customers we have. The men, the women, the children and the youth. So, secondly, we also try to um, to launch lots of uh, channels in local languages because we find out that it's easier to communicate with somebody in his mother tongue. Most people understand their mother tongue more than they understand English. So when you communicate with them in their local language, you can reach them uh, better. And uh, apart from that, most of us parents, we don't really have opportunity to teach our children our languages. So if we, I mean, we can encourage them to watch content in the local language, which helps in developing the language skills and also perpetuating, uh, you, know, you know, the culture. Can you tell us something about your subscriber? Is it, um, is it, is it increasing or is it? It's always increasing. Um, so, uh, right now, we have over 4 million subscribers and um, we expect an exponential increase uh, very soon because yesterday a very important agreement was signed between Star Times, that is NTA Star TV Network, and ITS. ITS, uh, I, I, I don't know if you're aware, that ITS is the licensed signal distributor. Um, you know, they are supposed to distribute free channels. So um, they are now partnering with Star Times. So that partnership will now bring about the actual switch off of analog TV in Nigeria. So the government have promised that within the next few months, they'll start switching off analog. And once they start switching off analog, it means that the demand for digital TV is going to uh, go up. So it means everybody will have to have one digital um, you know, platform or the other to watch TV at all. Our subscription rate is the most affordable in the industry. Um, on the terrestrial and the satellite platforms, we have subscription of 900 naira per month. And without 900 naira, you can watch uh, I think more than 30 channels. That's the cheapest you can get anywhere. Our most expensive subscription is about 4,900 naira. That's most expensive on the on the satellite platform. And of course, if you're in Nigeria, you know that that is probably less than a quarter of what um, you know, you're getting. So, 
relatively we are affordable. Actually, affordability is one of the um, uh, you know, selling points from day one. Affordability and accessibility. You know, the joint venture from day one, the Chinese side brought in all the funds used to set up this business. They brought in all the funds. The Nigerian side uh, contributed with infrastructure. Because for you to set up uh, something like this, okay, look at this compound, this land, this mast, they belong to India. So we set it up here. But all the cash, all the equipment, everything was provided by the Chinese side. And they've been supporting the business. Because when you set up a business, a big business like this takes time to become profitable. So the investors keep investing until, you know, you become profitable. So the Chinese side have, uh, they've been doing all that. 100%. The plans you have is to become the leading satellite provider in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, advertising. Affordability, accessibility. Once it's affordable, it's accessible. Then the content itself. We try to improve our content to uh, try to make it what people like. For example, we in the in the north of Nigeria, we are the leading platform. You can ask anybody on the street because we are very strong in uh, it's really Hausa channels. Um, you know, we, are, we have our own Adam Kowa, we have Adam Watch Four, and some other ones. So we are very strong there. And I think another thing is uh, we have lots of Chinese content that are dubbed into local languages, especially Hausa. And the, the Hausa people really, um, you know, they, 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 they like, they enjoy this Chinese content. Uh, because you know, Hausa culture is conservative. Chinese culture is also conservative. So they probably feel some affinity. Would you like to throw more light on the IRS? ITS. ITS. Yeah, ITS is the, is the government is the license is one of the licensed signal distributors yes okay. licensed by mbc its has a license but they are a relatively young company compared to starter instead of spending money starting a new rollout the government felt that it makes sense for its and start times to come together and roll out uh, um, uh, free TV Digital services system. all over the country so that they can switch up analog. Yes. How soon can we this take up? The they will start switching up analog in the next three months. All over the country. Yes. I thought they are not going to switch up. They are switch not planning to switch up all the, over the, all the country at once. Mm. No. It's going to be phased. Okay. So they are going to do it phase by phase. The first phase they'll switch off and then they'll watch and see the problems and whatever. Once everything is taken care of, then they'll, 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 they'll continue to switch off until... So invariably, uh, Star Times will become a major player when it comes to uh, digital... Oh yes, uh, yes. Which means yes. The, the, the horizon looks very bright. It looks bright, yeah. Star Times uh, will or has become a much more important player in the digital TV ecosystem of Nigeria. It's very important that we talk about um, CSR, mm. the corporate uh, social responsibility. Now, has there been any corporate social responsibility from on the side of uh, Star Times? If there is, we can as well tell you. But if there's not, are there plans in the future to affect the community you know, in other ways? Yeah, CSR. We have been, we have a lot of CSR initiative. There is um, something we are doing with um, SOS Village. SOS Village, I'm sure you know about them. Yeah. Um, we, 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 we have some partnership with them. We, we donate money and we fund some of their activities. There was this uh, 1000 Villages project. I don't know if you, yes, I you know about remember. it. Yes. The Chinese government and African government, they met in FOCA 2015. And the Chinese government pledged 10,000 villages for, to the whole Africa. Mm -hmm. That these villages will, uh, you know, they provide uh, TV viewing facilities, mm -hmm. and Star Times, as a local uh, company, was the like the contractor to implement that project. Mm -hmm. So we uh, they selected about a thousand villages across Nigeria. So and uh, it was very equitable. Um, every local government got one village. 
Because we had several servants to four local government areas. Yes, Every local government was in the region. So we, we can tell you that we, we, we have that one village in every local government in the region benefited 